give me that when I was recording. So that was like, okay, not my day. Um, so now you are expert in like, you know everything. Well, uh, there are all types of errors. So I still got to know about few of them, especially the 7002, the most, uh, but of course, uh, anyone could have messed up with anything at any time. So we have, to, every environment is all custom environment. I mean, uh, every environment has its own. Every environment is unique. Yeah. Every environment is unique. Exactly. So, so maybe, uh, no, it's exact. Uh, okay. Pan Am. Hey, you're Pan Aming right now. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, that's Rolando, I think. Uh, not, I thought Gregory was there. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, okay. Uh, what we need to do is, uh, we have already done so many labs. Uh, and uh, I have uh, created that as I always show at the start of the lab uh, that uh, I've taken a screen uh, snapshot, not screenshot, and uh, the the snapshot where discovery was done, boundaries were configured, SCCM clients pushed and showing yes. Uh, that's my snapshot uh, from where I uh, w where I go back, revert to, and then start over a new lab. Uh, so at least you know uh, the environment has not been corrupted by any of the previous labs misconfigurations or errors that we did not resolve or anything that could have uh, you know had bad impact on the newer lab we're about to do so I'm just gonna go back and revert to my uh, snapshot where it was clients were showing yes uh, to do our operating system deployment so uh, so then I will be touching all those uh, uh, configuration areas again uh, to make sure that uh, and uh, also for both of the clients I'm gonna go back to the snapshot or I could just keep the clients that way so I could take a capture the image of one working Windows 7 client uh, after we configure the server side of the uh, SCCM so we're gonna be doing again the OSD deployment operating system deployment we're gonna be capturing uh, the image of a working Windows 7 uh, then we're gonna be deploying that uh, to an empty machine uh, and uh, we're gonna be not letting go unless until and unless we uh, find uh, uh, we're trying to troubleshoot and we're gonna find some uh, solution for that uh, since the environments will be unique uh, uh, some of us will be doing it alongside so uh, I, uh, those guys have to have the team viewer ready so I could we could I could just uh, connect to that machine and then put the team viewer here as well so everyone could participate in the troubleshooting hey try this try that and uh, research together and find the errors uh, resolution for the errors we are getting today uh, so everyone's Google should be up and ready and uh, saying yes sir okay and uh, so we're gonna be trying to make so, it successful for everyone so yeah. we are going through a tr troubleshooting event tonight yeah it's a troubleshooting event uh, which was missing for a long time uh, we can keep on doing new technologies um, and but we were leaving behind errors, uh, non-unresolved errors. So operating system deployment will be refreshed again. Uh, but now we need to really troubleshoot. So I'm going to go a bit quicker uh, because we know all the steps and the uh, links are already emailed. So um, uh, we should. Uh, so I'm just going to go back uh, to the snapshot now to uh, to get the environment uh, up and ready uh, quicker so if there are any errors uh, we could resolve in uh, enough time uh, but it's going to be a good refresher for how to deploy an operating system again uh, SSM clients pushed and showing yes so I'm just going to click go to where it was just showing the uh, clients as yes and uh, so I could start configuring again and meantime I will be trying to you know, make sure that if there is something left in the configuration uh, or something we did separate from what is already there. So, okay, it's back to the snapshot where the clients are showing yes. <clears throat> and uh, the first link I'm going to quickly open and because uh, now nothing is configured other than the clients uh, showing yes here. So, uh, all the concepts uh, of uh, where to go and what to do 
uh, will be refreshed as well. Uh, mainly, I'm just going to start showing one by one the uh, web page. So I'm on this screen, Capture Windows 7. But before that, oh, not this one, not this one. Um, so these one. So boot images and distribution point configuration for OSD and FTCN 2012 R2. We're going to just make sure that we could we can revisit these areas uh, where uh, you know these areas uh, as you see in the screen now uh, where uh, anything we can change to make the errors go away. Uh, there are some new troubleshooting options uh, that uh, we will be going through as well uh, from some troubleshooting documentations uh, I took out. And uh, in order to take the logs uh, and check the logs from both the clients and the server side, uh, so we'll try to concentrate on all the troubleshooting commands and options uh, if in case uh, it, you know the error comes. I hope error does not come and I'll say, hey, it works for me. Okay, good luck, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so if it works for me, suppose if it works for me and you get an error, so we'll have to uh, team viewer your uh, screen and try to troubleshoot that, right? So let's try to make sure our settings are exactly like this. Uh, so I'm going to go again and uh, since we already have done it uh, so and uh, even uh, practicing uh, we have, may have done it a number of times so uh, we'll be a bit quicker so we could get to the part where uh, things start getting wrong. Okay so first step is still uh, uh, so the main uh, major steps are that we're going to be uh, configuring our boot images and distribution point then we're going to be uh, going for capture Windows 7 using SSKM 2012 R2 uh, where we need to capture so for that we need to go through all these steps carefully uh, and then the third one is to deploy which is this thing all links are there uh, deploying Windows 7 using SSKM R2 R2 all those steps are there as well as well as the fourth link um, which is the error the famous the mucho mucho famous error uh, that comes to all of us and this is the fourth link and this is the error page uh, task sequence failed with the error code uh, 8007 0002 that's the most common error uh, that's coming to all. Some of, uh, one or two more errors that were uh, coming, we we were able to resolve them uh, because of the uh, you know hot fixes we downloaded and installed. Uh, so this error, uh, you know, this one is coming to us uh, when we are deploying. And there is that page uh, having telling us different solutions. I have other. Uh, pages or from other web forums as well that we can try their solutions one by one. Okay, so it, it's better to have your environment snapshotted back to you know where other labs have not been done on this environment. But if you still have that environment where other labs have been done, uh, uh, then uh, it, you know it should not. Uh, we hope that it should not uh, be in the way for deploying our Windows 7. Then good luck. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I mean like, uh, uh, yeah, I, we all need that good luck today. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, boot images and distribution point configuration. So first of all, uh, the main steps are, uh, there are many ways to deploy and as uh, it's showing in the slide as well, which we went through, but I'm gonna go to the page. There's a PC initiation deployment. We can deploy operating system through PC initiation, which we're going to do today. Uh, multicast deployment is when you have large amount of uh, deployments and you want to them to happen as simultaneously. Uh, <clears throat> and then there are these uh, uh, bootable media deployments. If you don't have a network, uh, you want to put the deployment on a external disk, uh, external, uh, you know, uh, in an enclosure. And then you have channel USB. Uh, you can do that one by one. This is for small amounts uh, or for you know uh, areas where you don't have a network. 
Then there are standalone media deployments here. Uh, let you deploy operating system environments where it is not practical to copy. Uh, so bootable media and standalone media, you know, we can just, uh, oh no, this is the bootable media, which is not like, uh, you know, you don't have a network. This is where uh, the destination computer starts, it retrieves the top sequence, the operating system, and any other requirement content from the network, because that content is not in the media. You can update the, so if you don't have a PIXI enabled network card, then you can have a USB drive that will have that uh, PIXZ file that will let the empty machine uh, connect a search for a DHCP and connect to our SCCM server. So if you don't have a network card that does not have uh, uh, that that uh, that's PIXZ initiated, if you do not have that network card uh, or your network card does not support that, you can put the PIXZ files on a USB drive and boot from there. It's going to do the same what network card with PC enable uh, feature does. Okay, standalone media is that where you can put the whole image, <coughs> excuse me, in an external drive, uh, and then try to you know install the image on just one computer. Pre-staged media deployments is where uh, you are trying to uh, add the empty machine's MAC address already in the Active Directory and in SCCM. So at least when the empty machines arrive uh, in your environment, you would know that these were the exact machines that you ordered and there is no other new empty machine which may have some files hidden after the deployment. So please stage is just more for more security. <clears throat> okay, there, these are uh, all the types of deployments that SCCM support. Uh, we're going to go for the PIXZ environment and for that we need to enable the PIXZ, uh, you know, solution, uh, PIXZ feature on the distribution point. Our distribution point is our, uh, so, you know, our, my most advanced uh, uh, drawing tool. Uh, this is just newly released from uh, Microsoft. Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so, and uh, this is, again, the map we're um, drawing for our environment so this will be our of course uh, DC DNS oops then I need another box and this will be our SDDM and uh, uh, this is our SCCM slash uh, SQL and uh, this is our reference com computer and uh, this will be our empty machine on which we will deploy the image uh, that we will take from our reference computer. Uh, the reference computer has Win7, it has endpoint <coughs> client installs it has uh, software center uh, configured and showing so uh, we are taking this as a reference computer because uh, we're gonna take the image of this computer uh, so uh, we're gonna just uh, uh, major steps would be configure SCCM uh, for uh, you know image capture and deployment so that will be our major step first major step and then um, we can just go for the other steps uh, so I'm just gonna do yeah it's recording oh yeah, it is recording with the, the other <laughs> software. Yeah, it is recording, but uh, sometimes uh, uh, we found that, I found that uh, if I had my own recorder as well open, uh, I would have, you know, we would have covered many of the things that seem to be missed by the official one, although we're just using that official recording. 
Hmm? When you can, especially at the end of the class, when you can pause your recording and exactly. try so many of the troubleshooting and when it has Oh yeah, I can record those extra troubleshooting as well, 3 to 1. Alright, so what we're doing is, uh, uh, we're uh, just trying to uh, start configuring. I was just putting those steps in that most advanced uh, drawing tool of all times. And uh, there, uh, uh, we've just uh, created this environment and uh, the major steps I was just uh, writing. So uh, then second major step would be to capture the image, image from reference comp. And third major step is uh, deploy the image to uh, an empty machine uh, for the step. I hope nobody gets that, but uh, fingers crossed, of course. It happens so many times. Uh, trouble, shoot, uh, common errors, uh, and make deployment successful. Uh, so these are the four points that we're trying to follow today uh, from this uh, deployment. We're going to make sure that all the steps we remember correctly that uh, and configured correctly. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and start uh, our um, configuration. And I'm just going to put it on the mass, on my second screen, the boot images and distribution point configuration for OSD. Um, so this is the... Uh, first web page I'm following. So if you have it open in front of you, you could be. Uh, yeah, the whiteboard. Uh, I just I just uh, saw in the chat uh, the comment. The whiteboard. Uh, I have to put chat again there, and I have to put everything. And uh, you know, drawings are same, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, if it's more complicated, I'm, I'm going to use the whiteboard itself for the webex. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, try to, uh, to, to, let's go ahead, okay, yeah, um, okay, so let's go ahead and try to configure the first one, I'm going to just uh, deploy, uh, I'm going to go to the uh, first step of the, that screen where it says that uh, go to your, um, uh, go to uh, your distribution point and try to configure that. First, so these are the easy areas. Uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, let's go to the administration, and the first step would be to go to the distribution points on the administration. So click administration, go to uh, the site, and uh, in fact, go to the servers and site uh, uh, system roles. The administration, servers, and site system roles. And whenever it opens today or tomorrow or never, no, uh, it will open one day. Yeah, on well, Monday. Okay, I just talked too much. So, um, okay, that's not good. 12 GB for C drive, but it's running in D drive, which is 51 gigs anyway. So yeah, I guess I need to uh, restart it at certain points when we are doing uh, some kind of uh, uh, longer configuration on the client side. Then I'm gonna just restart this guy, and it's back. Yeah. Okay, that was unacceptably slow, but anyway, it's back. <laughs> um, yeah. So distribution point here. Right click that. Uh, like all right. Uh, and let's right click that uh hello i'm right clicking yeah okay it heard that now i said hello huh okay so and uh okay uh now uh, the first is a general option a distribution point contains source files for clients to download enable and configure branch cache no we're not doing that allow clients to connect anonymously okay this was one of the troubleshooting steps that uh were later suggested as well uh, but we're not we're going to make sure that we know that this is an option here in distribution point allow clients to connect anonymously uh, we're going to come back later when we're troubleshooting some error right but remember that this is this was one of those steps as well what we are here to configure is this pixie point so this is uh, this is the way we, we can con we, we can connect machines without mac addresses yeah exactly and and although 
we even in the forums it was not configured one of the troubleshooting uh, online and they said that hey try this and then go ahead and try that so yeah we're going to remember uh, this is also a way when we don't have to put the mac address of the machine and so we'll come back here and do this in fact uh, i'll just uh, uh, you know take a screenshot sure here just to um, okay and put that arrow error okay you know good uh, so I'm just gonna oh there are many other anyway so I'm just gonna put it to copy image and and make it a simple uh, word document so I could refer right away for troubleshooting uh, in case uh, we need to go back there okay oops I just packed out there that's it Okay, so uh, minimize this, minimize this, and we go to Pixie, Pixie environment. Uh, uh, let's enable that. Uh, it's going to say that, yeah, if you have a firewall on, uh, you should enable these ports. We do not have firewall on. In fact, I'll just make sure all the steps one by one. I'm not missing any smaller details. Just going to make sure on my CCN server the firewall is not on. Well, while it's opening, I'm just going to go for my uh, domain controller as well and try to know if the firewall is on or not it is not uh, okay it's not on here and there are two do we need internet for the whole process i want to make sure nothing is in the way actually amir with this this uh, uh, point uh, regarding the firewall i i met some guys ssm guys from banam games Okay. And they was uh, facing this issue where uh, they opened the ports on the firewall mm -hmm. requested by SSM okay. and with even those uh, open ports the Pixie didn't work. Oh man. So, yeah. So but, uh, main thing is that's why in our company all 2000 plus servers we don't have firewall on at all. Microsoft Windows firewall it kind of has some problem. Uh, you know, it's but not Microsoft. It's not Microsoft. Oh, even your external firewalls. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's. Uh, I, so, I'm not sure. I think. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's one thing that uh, it gets us back to uh, our company policy as well. That yeah, uh, we have removed that uh, at these extra troubleshooting steps by turning off firewall. Uh, but we know that our own. Uh, parameter security is good and we have a McAfee endpoint that has very good uh, protection uh, mechanisms for all the machines, fine machines and servers as well. Uh, if you have extra softwares which are good then you don't need firewall because it creates more communication problems. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm just making sure, do I need uh, internet for, I don't think so. If I do need, I will turn it on. Um, for now, I'm just going to go to my network cards and go to my right click my second Ethernet adopter just to be in the safe side that communication between the client and the server has no hiccups, although it should not be a uh, you know hurdle. But uh, let's not take any chances. Let's make it successful. Try to successful. Make it successful the first time. But uh, let's just disable our second network card on our SCCN server. Um, uh, making sure about firewall uh, on all machines is better uh, uh, you know if we are doing all the precautions so I'm just gonna quickly uh, go for oops not the computer control panel system security firewall off just to be on the safest side that we are starting good and uh, we are supposed to be on the track okay on Windows 7 firewall is off Windows 8 um, yeah they're supposed to be up and they're up okay let's go ahead with the distribution point troubleshooting so I'm uh, not troubleshooting uh, that enable enabling of those so yes the hair we're just supposed to put uh, we're just supposed to uh, give yes 
And yeah, oh, sorry, I forgot to say thank you for that input, Hamdan. Yeah, that we all needed to know, and that's a good one. Uh, even without firewall, we are facing so many problems, and with firewall, whoa. <laughs> okay, so uh, here, when we enable the Pixie support for clients, um, uh, allow this distribution point to uh, respond to incoming Pixie requests. That's one of the basic options that we need to select. Then, when we select this, enable unknown computer support. Uh, already, you know, it, it is supporting the, uh, the unknown computers here uh, along the PC environment. Um, and if you enable unknown, blah, 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 any unknown computers that use PC initiated uh, deployments will attempt to run required sequence task sequences, uh, required task sequences that include operations such as a file operating system image, yeah, that on those unknown, yeah, it will do all those task sequences that we're going to be defining. Uh, when we create a task sequence to deploy an image. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Require password when computers use Pixie. Uh, let's put that password so we should know at which stage our computer is, uh, deployment is right uh, right now. And uh, user affinity is, we don't have a user right now uh, to, to affiliate or to uh, co connect to our empty machine, so we don't want to use this option. Network interfaces respond to Pixie requests on all network interfaces. Uh, I have disabled already my internet connected NIC. So the only NIC I have will be, uh, you know, responding to Pixie requests. So from the start, if it's neat and clean, I hope we don't, uh, you know, come face any errors or if we face errors, at least much of the troubleshooting are uh, ruled out in, a, in terms of NIC. So I'm just checking all the other options, multicast we don't need right now, it's not a mass deployment, group relationships, no, nothing here, specify the distribution point groups for which distribution point is a member. Uh, for now we don't have a uh, distribution point groups, we don't have more than one distribution point here. Uh, content here uh, is that one package which is the SCCM client that we already deployed. So it's just uh, distribution point has a record of, oh yeah, I deployed that SSM package. And because of that, we are seeing the yes in those, uh, you know, Windows 7 and Windows 8 clients uh, that they're communicating with the server. Content validation, validate content on a schedule. Yeah, that's a good thing that if you want to validate us, but it just takes a lot of processing or it uh, just takes processing. Uh, but it's just validating that there's no corruption in the packages we have uh, integrity of the packages uh, we have created or images we have created. Uh, well, we can leave it. Boundary groups, I have Tor boundary group. I would try to, um, oh, there's no added here. So, uh, well, I'm gonna just visit it after that. So, Tor boundary group is added, yeah. So, so far so good. PZ is enabled, password is given, uh, NIC is off, firewalls are all off, uh, checked. Okay, let's go ahead and press OK. <clears throat> uh, first option was to enable our distribution point to uh, accept Pixie responses. Second option is to enable our boot images. So I'm just going down that page. Um, and to enable boot images, we have two boot images. So before that, I wanted to just visit my um, boundary groups. So I'm already there in the administration. And above, if, you, if I just go above, in the boundaries, I have two boundaries. Uh, the boundary, first boundaries, uh, you know, IP subnet base, and second is the Active Directory site base. Uh, boundary groups is this. And if I go right click the Toronto boundary group here, boundary groups, or uh, can I right click Toronto boundary group? Properties. Um, okay, both boundaries are there. I just wanted to make sure this is enabled and distribution point is there. So use this boundary group for this site assignment. We only have one Toronto site and we have this distribution point that's responsible for this site to deploy any application or image. And security is our domain administrator has all the powers. In my case, my domain name is SSM domain. Okay, so all, everything seems fine here. Okay. Let us go ahead with, okay, I just wanted to visit discovery methods. It seems okay. Um, system discovery, 
doesn't need that, but I'm just going to go for run full discovery. And uh, although they are already discovered, but I took a uh, snapshot, reverted for to a previous snapshot. I just want to make sure uh, all the options are refreshed. Um, in my case, maybe if you did not revert back, you don't have to do that. Even if you do that now, I mean, there it just means that uh, SSM is trying to communicate with all the components of the environment, uh, and it would seem to be a good idea. Hard rediscovery, refresh. Okay, all options in the discovery methods. So at least SSM is again communicating with all the clients and components. Okay. Why the network discovery is disabled? Yeah, I did not try that because I already have the systems discovered in the system discovery. And second thing is that I have boundary IP based or subnet based based boundary already defined here. So network discovery would be just doing the same. Network discovery mainly is for doing it on large scale, uh, where there are non Microsoft devices as well, and that you want to uh, detect uh, Linux based, Cisco based, and uh, so network discovery is very useful there. We just have to uh, find Windows clients. Uh, so what we are discovering already is more than enough. Um, doing enabling that would just uh, enable the same things again. Uh, so in our scenario, it's not. But if you enable that, it's okay. It's just gonna discover the same thing again, right? Uh, okay. So. Let's go ahead with the option of so boot images before you proceed for OSD. Uh, so we're going to be uh, checking the boot images. And for that, we're going to go for software library. That's always the major, uh, second major step on uh, the server side. Um, we're going to be uh, clicking the operating system here. Let me know if I'm going fast. Uh, so, you know, I'll just go double speed. Ha! Anyway, so uh, operating system images. Uh, and there's the boot images. <clears throat> These are the mucho importante or mucho mucho importante uh, images that are always <clears throat> required by SCCM to configure any image uh, deployment. Uh, you can see that when you click this boot image, there's that gray circle here, which means that oh, distribution yeah. point. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, <clears throat> no yeah. items found in my. Uh, in your boot or boot images? Sorry, it's my operating system. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, uh, you need to put one more teaspoon in the, you know, that coffee you have and inside a sugar teaspoon. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Correcto. Correcto. Maybe. All right. So, um. Let's go ahead with, so when we have boot image, uh, we'll see that the gray circle, this means the distribution point does not know if there is any changes made or if there is a boot image that exists. So we're going to make a little change that, uh, and then we're going to push it to the distribution point. If it is pushed directly to the distribution point, then it will be a green circle. So first of all, uh, we have to change, make the change, same changes on both the boot images. So right click the first one and go to the properties. And then go to the customization, uh, and we're gonna be, uh, just enable that command support. We're gonna be using that today. Um, enable command support testing only. So this is used for when you are deploying your image on the empty machine, and during that deployment, you want to go inside that empty machine and so the deployment is going on. This means some of the image files have already been deployed to the hard disk of that empty machine. And one of the files inside the, that, those image files is the log files. And during the deployment, log files are recording what's being deployed. What, uh, is the communication still OK? Is there any error that it's seeing? So during the deployment, we can check the log files of that empty machine. And we could just catch any error that is right away happening and catch our, you know, any misconfiguration. 
uh, so or at least you could know which is there's a communication problem some well, how so we're going to try to test that today um, then second thing is data access that we are supposed to uh, the data uh, source we're supposed to check data source not access data source and uh, here by default option is enabled deploy this boot image from the pixie enabled distribution point so the distribution point that is already enabled for receiving pixie requests from empty machines uh, so this boot image will be deployed to that distribution point in our case we have just one distribution point uh, and this is the path update to the points on schedule. Yeah, it could update, but that's the main thing. I would just go for uh, just uh, you know that access. We don't need to configure anything here. I'm just visiting this. Copy the content in this package to a package share. Yeah, disconnect users from distribution. No, we don't want to disconnect users uh, machines. Distribution point settings. Distribution priority medium. Specify, specify the distribution settings for this package. Maybe there are more than one distribution points, and uh, you know we might want to prioritize which distribution point should be first engaged to deploy anything. Uh, normally, all these settings are, are supposed to be left alone. I'm just visiting those for any future reference. Uh, optional components, no, everything is there. Security, yes, certain is there. So we're good. Um, customization, we should just enable that. Uh, specify the custom background, no. Nope. Enable please start command new. Uh, okay, we don't want to start any command before the image deploy. Okay, apply. Press no here. We don't want to distribute to the decision point this image now. We're going to do it together with the when we configure the second one as well. So click no here. And press OK. And then boot image. So uh, this. Uh, so now we're going to do the same thing in the second one, then we're going to deploy both to the description point. So right click the second boot image, properties, and go to the customization and uh, enable the command support there. Click apply and press so no. Okay, so data sources, yeah, we just want to make sure that this is enabled already. Hmm. Uh, okay, we may visit these options later. Uh, I have one form there. Okay, let's press OK here. Now we're going to be uh, doing, deploying, or uh, distributing uh, this boot image to the distribution point. Right click and distribute content here. And uh, so I just wanted to make sure from the web page if there is any very very small step that uh, uh, I may have missed and uh, I think uh, everything is okay okay so we just put the solution content next click add the solution you know point server this is our server press ok next and next so it's gonna turn you know, yellow and then green. Go to the second one. Right click, distribution content, distribute content. Necos, add distribution points. Press OK. Press next. And the next again and then the close. And the first one is green already. This means it's been uh, uploaded to the distribution point. Uh, the first one, second one is yellow. Okay gonna take its time to get there all right uh, then the second one is uh, uh, now we did two major steps uh, uh, you know comparing the distribution point and then comparing the boot images and uh, the main thing on that same page down there uh, on the bottom after these settings uh, is, they are uh, this the guy is also showing that hey you're gonna get this error if you don't do this setting so 7002 yeah, maybe we get that error uh, today as well uh, but uh, 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 so the guy is saying there that hey the only solution to that or the only solution he gave now I have this error site oh okay already you had that okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Mandar also had that I also had that so yeah today 
We're gonna fight this guy. Just because I missed like uh, the last uh, 10 classes, so I just want to make sure that you know. <laughs> Even Rolando is saying that he has that. So we are all victims of this error. And Mr. Error, we are all gay, going to get you. And that error is also telling me, I'm gonna get you too. And he's all actually punched me right now. <laughs> Ugh, okay, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, the error may be more powerful right now, but we're gonna troubleshoot together today. So anyway, uh, there you go. Uh, uh, yeah, we need to just take this uh, main precaution, which is to add that uh, add that uh, in the site configuration our administrator account uh, in the distribution point. So we're gonna just go to this area and try to uh, simply uh, you know add this uh, administrator account on the network access account tab. So I'm just gonna go there right away and uh, go to administration, go to sites, and go to configure site components, and go to software distribution. All right, uh, so we are gonna go for uh, the software distribution here. And when we click here, there's that network access account. Uh, uh, retry settings, multicast retry settings. So another access account is uh, use the computer account of the configuration manager client specify the account access. Make sure that the account is there and that's it. I I, I have my new settings, so um, I will have to do that. Those who already have this don't have to remove and redo it. Oh, I'm back. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, just please one minute back. I mean, repeat the last what you have done through the last. One minute, please. Last one minute. Uh, so I went to, and I took my kid to the other room and then gave him a try. That I did it last one minute. No, I did. Okay, yeah. I so, with, with CCM, man. You know, I mentioned I just have to say that you like talking public. So I, I do uh, suggest you to work in, in radio. We're gonna like, yeah, you like that. I know you like <laughs> Talking in public? Yeah, you know my new cohort, this is like not new, it's also finishing, the cohort six, uh, two students came to me, sir, why don't you start stand-up comedy in comedy clubs? And I was like, what? Is that a compliment or an insult? So, no, 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 no sir, no, sir, it is a compliment. You, you are very funny and we are always enjoying this, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I took it as a compliment then. Stand-up comedy. What? Um, okay. Yeah, you're right. So, uh, last one minute is that uh, we need to um, define a privileged account for distribution point and the distribution point wants to do its task on a, with the help of a privileged account. If that account is not added to the distribution point, then some of the internal background tasks that uh, for for which the distribution point needs uh, higher privileges, the distribution point will not be able to do, and then it's going to uh, puke this error or oh, throw out this error. <laughs> uh, but this is one of the troubleshooting, and in our cases, we did configure that already, and still this dude came back. So there are many other sources of this error. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> so we're gonna give uh, just give the our distribution point um, more uh, you know privilege to do background tasks, and for that what we are gonna do is I'm gonna just go back to this um, SCM and you know I'm already there and you have that um, <laughs> uh, so you have that already. Um, I think so. I'm just gonna just add it there with new account. Hey, yeah, it should be new account because already if I go to existing account, it's showing me as well. I always go to new account, but if I double click that uh, existing account, so I, I I just clicked here existing and it was showing there, and that's the exact account I'm after. So, okay, uh, I'm just gonna go with the existing account. But then when you're adding the new account, at least. Uh, you get to confirm, so if I uh, click uh, cancel here and I go to new account, I get to confirm if my password is okay here. 
Uh, and that's something much more, more important on distribution points, especially that it, it's password, it's communicating with that password. So I'm just going to administrate, check name, press OK, and put my password. I think that was the password. Well, I'm going to find out now. And click verify. How do we verify? By giving a random network share. You know, in my case, I'm just going to give it my domain controller sysmall folder and uh, select folder and test connection okay my password is okay so my domain controller says well for any network <coughs> share right <coughs> thank you oh sorry for that i should mute oh, that's okay and uh, apply so we are now good and uh, we're going to be go uh, uh, you know configuring the second uh, step on this so anyway, on this um, on this page, I think we're done. Done, 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 done. All right, uh, we're done, and uh, so far so good. Thank you, comrade. Ah, oh, okay, I love that. Anyway, so um, close this. First one is done. In fact, minimize this. Maybe we have to come back to this. Okay. Uh, second is the Windows Seven Capture or capture um, okay um, all the steps here need to be carefully done uh, we've, we've done it anyway two or three times so capture 7 using uh, CCM2012 so this requires that we already have a Windows 7 working and we're gonna be uh, so in my case yes I have Windows 7 working here and uh, if I go to my Windows 7 here now, I just want to make sure of two things. One is NS lookup, and it should be, uh, yeah, since I did not configure my reverse lookup zone, so it's okay. Uh, and 100.1 is, hey, since it's been many, many moons that I saw this, you know, configuration. And 100.1 is my domain controller configuration, yeah, so Windows 7 is okay. And um, as if it's a pure Windows environment uh, and reversal control is not configured, uh, still it's all okay. Although it's for best practice just to get the full FQDN, you can configure reversal control. But you know, name resolution is going on. Fine. Uh, <clears throat> Windows 7 is the one I need to take the image of. And I just wanted to remember that uh, if I had not taken uh, 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 if I had not captured the image of this Windows 7, why? When we capture the image, we run a file called sysprep. And even if I have run once, whenever sysprep is run, uh, there's, there's that uh, file that it leaves or log file that it leaves, uh, which tells us that uh, sysprep has been run already on this machine. So if I go to sys, uh, go to run and on Windows 7, if I go to run and uh, type sysprep in there and open, okay, what does this tag tell me? Uh, this uh, on 11.15.2014, whoa, that's like, whoa, that's even like, whoa. So it nope. Um, when I was creating the first time, yeah, I I uh, took I cloned this machine from um, you know the template machine, and there sysprep was just just run uh, ran it was run once only. Hey, uh, if we had deployed if we had installed a Windows Seven from the scratch, um, maybe. Uh, okay, you know what? Um, because we're gonna keep configuring and we're gonna capture the image of a. Uh, cloned Windows 7 uh, in the background uh, it's a crazy thing to do but uh, I just want to make sure that maybe the reference computer so in the background I'm just gonna run okay it's already Windows 7 here so I'm just gonna install from scratch which is not cloned which means it's not coming from a sys prepped uh, you know a template uh, so I just want to be on the safe side that I'm just going I'm gonna think I'm just gonna keep it going and in the background, I'm just going to install another one. So it's in D drive. And the folder name should be 
uh, SCCM second. Uh, it, it's just a precaution. So it's in the so you are installing a new new operating system on a new client, which will never have run a uh, system. Yes. Yeah. So it's gonna install in the background while we by that time we have done our we have checked our you know that clone capture clone machine right. So by that time it will be ready, which will be from the scratch, totally installed without being cloned. Uh, just to keep uh, rule out all those other so in my case what is my network card I think I'm on VNet 12 uh, very stuff new insertion I'll just double check and okay so I'm just starting a uh, quickly in the background new Windows 7 and uh, it's creating a diff huh? okay uh, what did I choose there um, anyway, <clears throat> that's new. Did I choose something wrong? Alright, to get over with that. Hasta la vista. Whatever that means. Yeah. Okay. Move. Shoo. Shoo. Okay. Go. Go. Uh, let me just grab from here. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, this is new. <laughs> Memory tools, blah, 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 blah. So creating a new disk. What's the big deal here? All right, uh, so we have that machine. It's starting now. And uh, yeah, so keep it your good work. And uh, let me just get back to my machine here. Uh, it's going to stop at certain areas. So I'm just going to get it moving from there as well. So in time, I'm using Windows 8 uh, uh, from my previous lab. Which is okay. Windows 8 is also okay. Uh, if you have Windows 8 uh, image or if you have Windows 7 image, uh, Rolando, uh, and in the chat, from your boot image, from your uh, yeah, uh, if if you can, you can just go ahead and deploy a new operating system, which we know as not being cloned or not being prepped ever. Uh, just to be on the safe side, if you want to try that. Otherwise, let's go ahead with what we have already, right? Yeah, Windows 8 is also good from scratch as well. And it could run in the background, don't give a lot of, you know, it won't take that much time of hours. See, in my case, Windows 7 is already installing. Okay. So, yeah, Windows 8 is also good enough. We can go ahead with that too. Okay. Uh, make sure that you have the bug fixes installed already. Uh, everyone. Because uh, of... It has bugs. Oh, it fixes bugs. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, capture uh, Windows 7. And let's capture that. So for that, uh, this is not the uh, build and capture uh, lab. So already a Windows 7 client is there. And we're just going to try to capture that. For that, we need to create a task sequence. Um, Okay, so we will first create a task sequence and we're going to go there and create a task sequence media which helps us capture the Windows 7. And we're going to create that media. Actually, SCCM will put all those files in that task sequence media which will be a, just an ISO file it's going to create. But this, in this ISO file, it will put sysprep it will put all those other files um, which will help in capture the uh, that uh, Windows 7 machine. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the software library, operating systems, and then task sequences as shown in the picture or picture. Why am I saying picture, picture, and capture? Anyway, so um, okay, so let's uh, let us go ahead uh, with the uh, NCCM and then we go for uh, software lab, lab library okay and uh, then go for the operating systems we already are there I'm already there so task sequences is here if I right click the task sequence create task sequence media all right uh, we click that and uh, uh, now we have all those options there and we're going to go for capture media. We need to, create, we do not want to create a bootable media. We don't want to create a standalone media. Free stage media, we need capture media. 
you know, an ISO file that has all those uh, files that will help capture uh, the image of Windows 7 or 8. All right, uh, so capture media here. Uh, we select that and then click next. And uh, we're gonna, uh, it's already selected as DVD set. So we're gonna be mounting that ISO to our DVD. That's why it's, you know, going to create an ISO file because we're going to be mounting it to our DVD or the DVD of that uh, reference computer whose image we're going to take. All right, uh, so for this we need to have a shared folder where it's going to upload that uh, ISO file so we could, you know, deploy it to the other machine. And now I'm just going to put that uh, capture 7 to second screen here. All right, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm just going to make sure that my SCCM server has a shared folder on which I can uh, create an ISO file and put it there. So I'm just going to go to run. Oh, actually, I have... Uh, that run also pinned to the taskbar, so I'm just gonna click here and it's run. Hey, that's cool, right? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go for backslash backslash, uh, and then go for server two is my SCM server. Click there, press OK. Do I have a shared folder here? And since I reverted back to my snapshot, I do not have a shared folder. So I'm gonna go for the local drive. I have a E drive. Uh, in your case, if it's a C drive, it's also okay. Um, I am creating uh, another folder called deployment and oh, MNT. Okay, anyway. So double click that. First, the folder is deployment. Second thing is I'm going to create uh, a folder called capture underscore OS. And inside this capture OS, I'm going to put that uh, capture media that we are getting from task sequence. So I'm going back up one level and right clicking that deployment folder. I need to share that. Share with specific people. And the domain administrator already has read and write permission for that. So, and I do not want everyone to have that still. Let's give it the most unsecure permissions. Oh, everyone has read and write? What are you doing? No. Yeah, 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 whatever. So, I don't want any permission related errors for our lab. In production environment, even there, um, first we test it, so we give still all kinds of permissions. Then on production, we just, you know, give that, we create a separate account for SCCM, uh, like SCCM admin, our admin, SCCM administrator account, and then we give only that account the read and write permission. Okay, so I'm just adding everyone and read and write, just want to avoid any kind of, uh, just because it's a test lab, right? So click share, and uh, the folders shown below were previously shared. You can replace the current settings with the same setting you just applied. Uh, current settings with the same. Replace that. Are you updating your Windows 7? No. Your Microsoft Paint file with this step? Um, well, uh, these are just the major steps. And uh, we are having, it's a good idea, yeah, in fact, to have this added to our main. So what we did till now is, uh, we, I am trying to have, first of all, um, uh, a new Win7 reference machine uh, installed from scratch and this is uh, this one 
Hey, it's getting better, right? Oh, okay, anyway. So, uh, and second thing what I did was, um, uh, I'm creating that for, yeah, so I did not write all the steps there uh, because this is a step in the forum. I'm just writing the major steps. So, uh, but yeah, uh, uh, adding a third machine is one thing. Oh, okay, my Windows 7 is nearly ready. Yeah, it's inside. Cool. It must have gotten uh, gotten the IP address from DHCP as well. Uh, it will. Anyway, so yes, uh, not all the steps because, uh, you know, uh, it's already in the forum. Um, so those steps which are not in the forum, we're going to just, I'm just going to update those. Deployment, so it is run, go press OK. Now we, I have a folder called deployment. And I have a folder called capture OS. Uh, I'm going to click this whole path, deployment backslash capture OS, right click that, copy that. This is the path that is, uh, well, uh, this step is not in the, uh, in that web page, yes. This step, uh, so uh, in the web page, there's just that path. Let me show you that. Uh, if I put that uh, page here, look at this path on this screen. So it's uh, the guys, uh, you know, making it understood that I must have already a shared folder called deployment with a shared folder called capture OS, which I just created right now. Uh, so wherever there is a gap, yeah, I'm just uh, creating that in the video. Uh, but yeah, this is understood that this shared folder is there already. Yeah. So if it's not there, I just created that. Or we will just create that. All right. Uh, so copy that uh, and uh, minimize that, and then um, minimize this as well. The new shared folder. So this is the path that is required uh, to create that uh, capture media. I have given the full path now. Uh, and I need, we need to still give a file name. And as in that, uh, you know, uh, web page, it's uh, written already cap win seven dot ISO. We have to mention dot ISO. Please make it make sure cap win seven dot ISO. So, you know, we can troubleshoot back if uh, the naming is exactly like that form. So we could at least know which file is which. So this is going to be created and uploaded, created and uploaded to this path. So inside this cap, cap win 7 we're going to use that file to actually capture the image of the Windows 7 machine. So next, uh, which boot image are we using? This is 64-bit uh, OS. We're using 64-bit. Hey. Um, it's a, uh, I'm sure it's a 64-bit OS, but uh, when it comes down to, I don't want any errors, uh, so I'm just going to go to Windows 7, open run, and type win were, and Windows version win were, and uh, the bin is 7600, uh, it does not say anywhere here, but definitely it's not 32-bit file, and uh, system information should tell me too, if I go for system information error, and it is telling uh, that it is an x64 based uh, uh, PC. So we're good now. I uh, just wanted to, you know, check. Okay, so boot image x64. Distribution point, same. Our server. Necost. And oh, what happened here? Okay, Necost and then Necost and uh, then we put uh, here. Uh, um, it is done, and uh, we can just put there uh, cancel. Oh, it is not done. What is wrong with you? Gracias, amigos. No, not gracias. Like, thank you, amigos. <laughs> okay, processing, 0%. Uh, yeah, it's creating that image, and uh, bootable uh, media, and then putting it, or uploading it to that shared folder. Okay, uh, let's close that. I'm going to double check if the ISO file is created inside that capture OS. Yep, it is created. And there it is. Cap win 7 and it's an ISO. So, what we need to do. So, I'm just going to go back to that page and, and, uh, huh, okay. Hi. 
So what is the page? Next one is okay. He figured everything. Oh no! Then we need to so capture OS is there. Then we need to just deploy that to oh that's the deploying one. Sorry, wrong one. Capture. I'm gonna. I have a question. Sorry. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. how, how the SCCM knows that this is a cap this is the, the capture file? I saw it's Windows 7. Where, where where is the point where I miss it? It took the, the the files from the DVD. I didn't see this step. Mm, so it did not. It this file it has nothing to do with Windows 7 or 8. I can use this, which I named as Windows 7. I can use this. To capture Win 8, Windows 8 as well. So I, is still, yeah. still not Windows 7. Okay. Yeah. So it's just naming it. So yeah. the purpose is to get. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. God. Oh, I'm just kidding. So uh, okay, right. Uh, what are we doing next, uh, comrade? Uh, we are doing this. Uh, okay. So it's um. Yeah. So we're gonna just mount this capture file to the DVD of our Windows 7 machine and then we're going to run this capture image wizard um, this step is not shown in the uh, forum as well um, obviously as um, technical people uh, the guy understood that hey we know that although the guy explained that as well they're in words but no screenshot so what we need to do is get this file mounted to the DVD ROM of the Windows 7 machine um, you know what even my other Windows 7 machine is ready and uh, I could just capture both of them separately uh, saving myself time what let's just go with one first one uh, okay, uh, one more uh, precaution here. After creating, so I'm just reading from that page. I'm just going to put that page here in front. Uh, after creating the capture media, we will now mount the capture to the Windows 7 machine and run the image. In this example, I have a virtual machine which has been installed with Windows 7 Professional SP 1x64 OS. <sighs> and we will be capturing this computer OS image. If it's a physical machine, you can burn the captured media, the ISO to a CD and uh, try to put it in the tray. If it's a virtual machine, you can mount the ISO to that, uh, you know, UD path. On a virtual machine, when you mount uh, by providing a shared location, it asks for a user account to access. Just give the main administrator account. Uh, what it did not mention here is, or what it mentioned on the top, so I'm just going to go on the top here, is we will first create a task sequence media, okay, even from the topper. Uh, so you capture a Windows 7 that has a, uh, capture a computer that has a Windows 7 installed along with software like Office, Adobe Reader, which is not joined to the domain. So I'm going to make sure uh, that my uh, cloned machine is not joined to the domain and I know that it is joined to the domain. Uh, so this point I just wanted to uh, emphasize not joined to the domain so I'm gonna go to my test machine and uh, okay one more thing here yeah so I'm just gonna go to oh my, my test machine yeah so the, the machine that we're gonna capture capture the image uh, uh, is not uh, in the domain, right? Should not be in the domain, and my machine is, so I'm just exactly removing it from the okay. domain. Okay. And change settings, click change, and I'm just gonna put it on a work group called ABC. And but that's okay, and but that's okay again. And it's gonna just join from the domain, going to be part of a work group. And but that's okay. That's why I was saying that my newly installed machine that is not, you know, it's already not joined to the domain it's part of the workgroup. So I have two Windows 7 now. One's cloned Windows 7, one is uh, installed from scratch Windows 7. I'm going to restart this so it could come back to its uh, workgroup state. So I could log it in. 
Uh, I don't want to confuse two deployments at the same time, so I'm just keeping the second machine from scratch machine uh, intact or uh, waiting for. Uh, so, okay, so the clone machine is now, uh, it has uh, come back and uh, I'm just going to log in from administrator. Hmm. Okay, uh huh. You know, one more thing. I log in from certain account, and uh, I'm not sure it's, it's with an administrator account. I'm gonna go to user accounts here. And, oh, it is an administrator account. Okay, cool. Um, so Windows 7 is good. What I need to do now is uh, I'm gonna try to mount the ISO for Windows 7, the capture media. Okay, uh, how do I mount that? Because this is VMware, anything outside VMware or any ISO outside VMware can be mounted, right? Uh, so this is inside here. I will copy, so I'm just in that folder where that capture media was uploaded on SCCM server. I'm gonna right click that, copy, and I'm gonna put it on the desktop of my laptop OS, host OS. Uh, here you go, paste. The but but there was an option to mount it directly. I guess you can. You, we can copy inside uh, and click mount. You're right. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Not here. On no, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. If I just, but yeah, this is to mount it to the SCCM, right? We need to copy it inside right that. No, no, right click and mount. Yeah, but it's going to mount to the SCCM server, right? Oh. It's inside the SCCM server. So this is, a, this is a way to mount from inside the operating system. So copy, you can just copy it inside the Windows 7 machine, like this. Like Z. Like Z. Uh, okay. So I just pasted it on the desktop of my Windows 7 machine. If I right click there, does it give me the option to mount it or not? Okay, uh, if I cut it and paste it to the C drive of my Windows 7 machine. And does it give me an option to mount now? So you have some software on your Local machine, okay. SCCM. Uh, yeah, it's giving you a mount here, but I did not put anything yeah, else. Yeah, I yeah, think it's SCCM. SCCM yeah. So okay, back to yeah. Let's put it on the desktop, and uh, here it's on the desktop, and I'm just gonna go to my Windows 7 machine now, and right click that machine settings, settings. And uh, DVD. Um, make sure both are connected up there. Go to ISO image. Uh, click browse. And uh, I'm gonna go to the desk. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Desktop of my host OS. And this is that. That's where it is. Cap Win 7. Double click that. Uh, now I have uh, mounted and please make sure that it's connected at power on. And press OK. And it's going to pop up with on the left, right side uh, that there is a file here. And uh, or if it does not pop up, let's just go to the DVD itself. And it's showing now as an ISO or DVD mounted to our drive. Okay, the power is here now. Run DSMB auto run. Yep. Let's just click this option here and it's going to run that wizard to capture the image of this Windows 7. So but as yes uh, and uh Nacost. Um it's asking where to indicate where you would like operating system image to be created or where to upload this image after uh, capturing this uh, image of C drive of this Windows 7. 
So we, I'm going to give that uh, deployment folder path. Um, so how does it show here? Capture. So I'm just going to go down to that screen here on that web page. Um, yeah, and yeah, there you go. So deployment capture underscore OS capwin dot bim. So first one was capwin seven dot ISO. Second is capwin seven dot wim. Right. Uh, so that was cap ISO. Right? So we're just let's just go with the name, or we can change our name. You know, uh, but it's still going to the capture OS. First is the capture media. Second is the Im image because of the extensions. Uh, I'm going to the Windows 7 and I'm going to give the path because it's just joined from domain so it's going to ask for authorization as well CM dash server 02 when I press enter it's going to ask hey who are you so I'm going to say I'm going to put my domain name backslash uh, and my administrator file counts and then uh, go for the password so now I'm over the network for my virtual machine and there's deployment folder of my SCM there's the capture OS uh, what we need to give is this, just the file name here uh, and uh, I'm just literally copying uh, literally following that web page uh, and it says capwin7.wim although okay capwin7.wim okay so click save here and it gives all the path here um, it will still ask for for network paths, enter the account and password used to access the path. Definitely, it's again our uh, domain name backslash administrator. So, as CCM domain backslash add minus strider and the password. I think we're ready. Amir, yep. Uh, you are far away from my from me. Could you, could you yeah, quickly... Yeah, I live in Scarborough. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, could yeah. you quickly uh, repeat that uh, part when you uh, it mounted, mounted the, uh, that, uh, yeah. ISO file from desktop? Okay, I'm there. You, you're seeing my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you just mount it with there. Okay. Yeah, right click settings. Did okay. you put the ISO on the desktop? You already yeah. there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Make sure that it's connected, showing connected, for connected, power on and connected. Just yeah. like I'm showing on the screen. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Alright. Uh, let me just check if I'm on VMNet 14 or 12. For my domain controller. Okay, yeah, it's 14. Okay. Okay, and then, do you see the DVD and did you start that? Yeah, I see DVD. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're there, right? Yeah. El so, participante. Yeah. You see? So and what did you do after that? Uh, this is the screen. Uh, so it started a wizard. Did it start a wizard? When you oh yeah, this is the DVD is showing. Double click that. It's and yeah, then it's gonna it, say yeah. Image capture wizard, right? Exactly. Okay. Destination is your deployment folder on your SCCM desk, you know, your server too. Mm -hmm. When you go there, when I click browse, since it's a workgroup, you have to put your domain admin credentials. And then again, when you put the path here, domain admin credentials, it's also um, Is there? So we right. uh, mm -hmm. we in capture OS and then we created yeah. this file. 
Yeah, this is the file name. Cap in seven, just like in the that URL. The, so, the format is win, right? Yeah, it's it's like this uh, cap win seven dot win. Oh. So there's a comment in the chat. Are you doing that in newly created win seven? I thought uh, should not be joined to domain. Uh, yeah, so I am not doing it in the newly created one yet. Uh, it's a comment in the chat. Uh, so I'm just doing it still uh, by just joining that uh, cloned Windows 7, which I, we already have. It was run to the domain. I just, just joined it, and it's part of the workbook. Then I restarted and logged in. Now I'm doing that only on that cloned Windows 7. That is just this joint for the domain. Uh, later, I'm going to do that same capture image for the scratch one as well. Okay, cool. Uh, and we just need to give the credentials again. And once we're done, click next. Uh, and then we can just go, give it credit by um, IT admin and version win 7 professional. professional. And then we go for NACOS. Yep. And click finish. So it should be uploading the image to uh, to our SCCM server now. And uh, we can see the progress from there as well. Initializing the system center 2012 R2 configuration manager client. Uh, if I go back to that server right now, this is the folder where it's supposed to create that image. If I F5 this, um, it as if I go to this PC from the local drive, if I reach that deployment, uh, it has not yet started to put that here on the system server. I'm going to go back to Windows 7 and uh, prepare operating system. So it's just prepping. Of course, it has not started uploading yet, so that's too soon to check this. All right. Why is it required to like disjoint from domain? Why we cannot capture with domain? Um, there was a reason given on the TechNet um, that it's better to get the reference computer joined to the domain because we're going to define in the deployment option. When we're about to deploy, that's where it's going to ask, hey, do you want to join it or is it already joined? If it is already joined, it could uh, produce some kind of corruption as well. It is a possibility of corruption because it wants to do everything, you know, uh, in, in sequence. So there's a sequence, a task sequence when we are deploying it, uh, asking, hey, you want to join it or not? So if we have something, some machine that is intact, or if the domain join was supposed to be for a different domain from which we are creating this, so we don't want the deployment to first just join it from this domain and then join it to another domain. There could be any other scenario. This is a golden image, right? This is an image that we could deploy across our forest on any domain right now. Uh, in our case, yes, we could keep it like that. Uh, we're just following some best practice that uh, to avoid any kind of errors. Although we can try that. In majority of the forums or in TechNet as, uh, as well, they all recommended that we should keep it disjoint because it's a golden image. It should not be related to anything, any domain. Because the credentials are also saved, then when you're putting the credentials again during the deployment, it could create some kind of corruption. There were many reasons given on TechNet for that. Uh, okay, so scanning volume one of one captured the reference machine. Did it start? To, oh yeah, there it is. So when I go to SCCM again, now there's a Vim file being created, and if I F5 it, it's still zero kilobytes. It's gonna reach up to that, you know, uh, one gig. If you F6 it, you will get the result. If you what? If you fix it. Oh yeah. F6. F6. Oh, really? No. F5. In my case, it's starting to upload, so it hasn't 
it's not showing the result yet. It will go up to 3 GB I guess. E oh okay. Oh yeah it's installed one, it's not the F5 again, still zero in my case. Anyone has started seeing numbers here? No one, right? We are watching the same thing what you have. Oh, okay. So okay. Yeah. Um I could start the second one as well, but that's gonna slow down everything. Um so I'm just leaving it for when we are troubleshooting something there. But if you're troubleshooting, um we're gonna be changing some options there, then that's not good for deployment for capturing the image of that. So um while this is loading, if I start uploading this one, that's gonna really slow down my computer. You know, we won't be able to finish in time. Okay. Uh, so once the upload has begun, I'm ready. Let's do that step by step. Just let have it forward. Like, don't start the second one, machine. This is my opinion. Thank you. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's why I haven't. Yeah, started. You're right. Uh. Oh, capturing a volume one of one. Hey, this is kind of a 10 minute break as well. So we can relax and uh, do some push ups and uh, you know, inhale, exhale, do some yoga or whatever. So let's take it as a break as well. Because um, it's going to take a little time and then there's no and uh, stopping of this, like it's not gonna ask for anything to do for us to play for anything. So ten minute break, I hope in ten minutes it uploads. And then we come back. Right? Okay, so um about this link installation, first of all it's the exe file uh that is uh, going to be installed. Second thing is that uh, there are switches. So what we are doing right now, we are doing the other lab. Well, uh, we are talking about it. Actually, at I just started the recording, so I just want you to repeat. Okay. okay. Um, so what we are doing is, uh, while we are waiting up for uh, the VMware installation, which is this, I'm dragging it back just to show. And it is still on one on one of one capturing, and uh, it has uploaded 4.5 gigs uh, of the whole image till now. And while this is going on, I'm keeping it on the second screen and keeping a uh, keeping an eye on that. Uh, I'm gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna start talking about the second uh, another topic where the link the uh, application can be deployed over the SCM 2012R2, uh, but this is not an MSI. This is just a exe uh, file, so we know that MSI files can be easily deployed, uh, but we can also deploy exe files, and for that matter, any other extension files. There are some switches that have been given on this file. Suppose if you're deploying winzip dot exe or winbrar dot exe or any other dot exe, uh, so we have to still go and visit the manuals. Uh, of that application and we have to see if the vendor has supplied the switches for silent installation and uh, install from the command prompt and repair install directory to create uh, the directory and full UI suppression enables link 2010 to run in user interface suppression mode suppression mode means that user does not have to it's a zero touch mode right so user uh, it, it's just suppressed or uh, just uh, it went down minimized installation of uh, that product. So in case where this link dot exe is concerned, there's a slash silent switch here. Uh, uh, mentioned here by Microsoft, but Microsoft should have created the MSI. Uh, it's not there. So what are the steps to deploy an exe application? Uh, not much different than MSI. Uh, there are some uh, extra one or two steps only. Uh, so once you downloaded link 2010 client setup file, you can copy it to a folder 
Yeah, we're gonna copy and uh, okay. So create. Oh, then we go for software library and applications and create start creating an application. I just wanted to go where it say it, it, where the steps are different. Uh, so first of all, we create an application. Then we uh, do not click this MSI. So in MSI, when we were doing that, uh, we were clicking this automatically detect information about this application from installation file. So the MSI was already there in the shared folder where it was located. Here we have to manually specify the application information. So what is the application uh, about and what extensions are there. So in next screen they say that it's link 2010x64. We, we can just put that information there. Owners are same admin, uh, support contact, nothing technical here. Uh, so you can specify more information about the application here. Localized application name, link 2010, English, okay, nothing here as well, just basic information. Uh, we will configure the deployment type uh, for link 2010. So then the next wizard will of the trade application will be uh, this. That is, uh, we're going to try to know the deployment type by clicking add here. And then again it's saying that, okay, now specify what extension is this uh, it's not a, it's not a uh, msi extension again the uh, sub wizard of the main wizard uh, asks for basic information of the application and here for the content location so it's already uh, in the, you know on a shared folder link is there it's on a shared folder uh, and oh, there's a lot of sound coming. Who is that? Uh, is it the, the monitor's uh, PC? Is it, or is it my PC? What is the Gregory? This is not the Gregory. Okay, now we're uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, for the content location, um, I have copied the setup to so link setup uh, is there. So I actually I've did I did install link setup already. I'm just going through that installation steps. That what's so different about exe file? Uh, the next step is to specify install and uninstall command. This is what we did with MS Office as well when we had to put a code in Notepad and then convert that Notepad into XML file and then give the path of that XML file for uninstallation of MS Office from the client side. Here, uh, specify the install, uh, installation program as link setup.exe slash silent. In other applications, it could be slash suppressed or it could be some other word, uh, you know, offering the same uh, feature. Specify the uninstall program as msi exec.exe slash uninstall. msi exec.exe is used to remotely control the command prompt. Uh, of another operating system. So you can execute any command in any other remote, uh, uh, you know, operating system in the command prompt of the remote operating system. Uh, so this is the full path that we're supposed to give uh, uh, for the uh, link dot msi for the uh, uninstallation program that is going to take this path, although the msi is not there, uh, but after installation, it's going to create one. Uh, so specify the installation is this. So this is the installation. It's going to be deployed from the network. Allow clients to share content with other clients in the same subnet. Yeah, that machine will have the same uh, for, uh, shared folder for other clients to install that. Uh, but here, specify the command used to install this content installation program. Link setup.exe slash silent. So this is a, uh, already we know that. Uh, the configuration manager can remove installation of this content if an uninstall program is specified below. Uh, so uninstall program, we can just put that path there uh, for uh, as shown above. Let's go and check if later so detection method. How will a, will an exe file be detected? Detection methods allow that to check if application is already installed. Okay, so it's installed or not. It, it can also prevent an install of an application if it conflicts with another application that is already installed. In this step, you can figure the rules to detect whether 
the application already exists on the client machine. So what are the rules to detect if the uh, machine is already there? So we can click add clause here and then there are these settings that we need to perform that on the detection rule window choose setting type as file system so setting type is file system on which the application will be installed uh, specify the file or folder to detect the app okay so if this file the path is this and the file name could be this communicator .exe. Um and set the following type file then we give the type file the type uh, file path as that okay guys uh, while this was going on since our main priority thing is uh, done so I'm just showing this VMware now and starting the recording as well so I just left that <laughs> conversation in the middle because uh, it's crucial to go ahead with this uh, lab as well uh, so till now I was talking about installing link.exe now uh, since the deployment uh, the image capture is complete for the Windows 7 machine uh, so this means the sysprep has been run on that Windows 7 machine and uh, the image has been captured and uploaded to SCCM server there it is and if I F5 this uh, it is a 5.4 gigabyte image that's like mucho mucho big um, so now we have a BIM file here, 5.4 gigs on SCCM server and it's on the deployment folder, CaptureOS, deployment, CaptureOS. Uh, we can just press OK to restart, which means that this machine will be starting with OOBE settings or out of, out of box uh, experience. Uh, uh, so we're not concerned with this machine anymore now. Uh, we are concerned with the new machine that's going to get this uh, Windows 7 deployed from the image that has been just captured from a reference computer uh, so I'm just gonna make sure that uh, we're not missing any step here so uh, then we're gonna go for uh, the um, next step which is the Windows 7 deployment so deploying Windows 7 let me just drag down this one and we go for deploying Windows 7. So there it is, uh, the third, uh, and here, um, you know, that step of adding the MAC address for this machine and then going ahead uh, to create a, you know, collection which will just contain this machine. So this is a step uh, and we're creating a device collection. So I'm gonna start this uh, new client machine and then we're gonna go uh, ahead from there uh, I go to home and create new virtual machine and next so uh, in, I will install the operating system later of course uh, because we're really going to be deploying from the network Windows 7 x 4 drivers will be loaded for this virtual empty virtual machine um and uh i'm just going to put the name here as uh, empty machine zero one uh oh sorry because later i need to delete it too so sscm empty machine zero one and then when the folder name has changed on the end like, let me make sure yeah now I'm gonna change it to D drive because this is my SSD and super slow drive next and 60 gigs. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's okay. Next, customize hardware and go for in my case I'm going for VMnet 12. Uh, that is all that I need. I'll, yeah, two GB uh, I'm there as well. Okay, close, finito, and start. So, when it starts, I need to grab that MAC address. Um, can I get a much device? Because my first find that is going to go on the host now. Okay, so it has, it has uh, received the IP address, but for now it's uh, 
uh, what we need is the 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 MAC address so we can actually inform so we have our disk as C60K okay good so uh, I just need this MAC address so I'm just gonna put it on the notepad here and uh, put it like this and uh, MAC address is 000C 29 um 3 c 6 f 0 2 okay and grid is this uh i could received as 151 all seems okay so i'm just going to go to the ccm here and then go for uh, that uh, device addition, so SSN compliance here, and then go for the device collection. So first, uh, I have to import computer information. Import single computer, next. And computer name, when seven, uh, Captured was called the EPL. Well, that's a pretty long name for. I can just put any name here. So capture one. I don't need that. Okay, deploying. Let's go down there. Create device collection. Oh, so it was creating a device collection first. Um, yeah, it's gonna take that name. Why did I start importing that? Uh, so device collection. Sorry, we just need to go ahead with that, and it's trying to create the device collection and then import. Okay, I'm importing that first. In fact, let's do that first. Uh, so this is one step I'm doing a uh, different here. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to put that up on the second screen and putting down that uh zero 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 c twenty nine uh three c six f zero two all right uh and uh, uh option to create a computer associated my entering the name for reference computer from which the user state and settings will be migrated to the no, we're not doing migration so that goes and this is been seven captured the name and uh, MAC address. Add new computers uh, only to all systems collection. Add computers to the. Hmm. So, were we putting the new collection? Import server to, 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 to all systems or captured? Oh, that's why I did it before after. But uh, I can put it to because there was a collection to put into and then it was okay uh, yeah bad experimenting okay uh -huh. so yes I'm gonna create that collection again create device collection uh, go for uh, Collection. Browse limiting collection to all systems. Uh, let's just check that too. Yeah, just follow that. Captured OS and what it did was direct rule in all systems. Yeah, and then OK. Next. Okay. So I'm creating that collection. Uh, all systems uh, and then direct rule I think yeah I did not uh, we, we did not do direct rule so we're just gonna go for add click next close okay so we have a capture device collection here now we're gonna just add the device and just add directly to that collection uh, next import single computer next uh, 
seven. We we'll just give any name here, and we will put that back to us again. There, zero 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 C twenty nine three C six F. Okay, I was not I was not typing anything. Zero 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 C twenty nine three C six F uh zero two. That goes and this is the name captured OS seven. Uh and the collection is this. Captured OS collection. Next, next close. Uh and make sure that the captured OS collection shows that uh computer here is shown to just zero here, so right click and update membership here. Yes. And it is still showing zero. Why are you upgrading membership here? Uh, so what we added there, this when we, when I go to devices, this is the device captured OS. Seven. It's an empty machine with MAC address, but uh, it should it is part of that collection. It's just not showing there. So update membership shows that, and this is it should show one that one can one device is part of this collection. It takes a little time. But if we make sure that it is already, you know, there, uh, then our one of the error was removed because of this. So I'm just gonna uh, make sure. Okay, it, I think it, I have done it enough. So uh, I'm gonna go to. It's gonna get. Uh, it's gonna show here one soon. Now the next step uh, would be to simply. Yeah, as easy as it's done. Uh, now we can go for the create task sequence uh, and uh, install an existing image. So now uh, while we go there, we're gonna just make sure once more update membership. Yes, it's still showing zero, so it's gonna uh, update one day or Monday or Sunday. Anyway. So uh, I'm just gonna go for task sequence now. So software library and there's the task sequence and create a task sequence now. And go for install an existing image package. So that's how it is showing there. Install an existing image package. Then we're going for task sequence name, browse deploy Windows 7 and boot image. So Deploy Windows 7 and we go for the x64 and then we select all the options here. Um, the Windows 7 specify the Windows operating system image and installation information. So that's going to be showing one on one. Partition and format the target computer before installing. Yeah, we're going to partition it and format it as well. And we're going to give the password here. So, um, okay, click browse, and there you go. What? Operating system images. I think I missed a step here. Uh, yeah, I should have uploaded that Windows 7 image there. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Sorry. Uh, where did I miss that? Okay, so when that Vim file is uploaded, you have to add this that Vim file to the operating system installers. And I think uh, those who already have that can confirm that it's already there. So installer add operating system image. Oh, not installer the image. It's a Vim image. Okay, right click here, add Vim image, browse. Go to server two here. I think you are uploading the installer now. Installer or image? So where's that? Uh, yeah, it's in the caption. Image, you need image, but by mistake, the second time you, you did the installer. Oh, okay. We need the image. So no. See image visit. Yeah, that is image visit. 
Uh, oh yeah, it's selected that way. So let's just move that configure as well. So I'm just going to go there and right click, add image, image user. And thank you. So we go for two and uh, deployment, capture OS, and there you go. Web image, it requires that. Next, next. This is the captured Windows Enterprise captured image. Close and it should be uh, uploaded to the distribution point as well. Hey, wasn't that in the? Where did we miss that? Wasn't that in the? It it was not here, so it should have been in the previous one. Image using this one. I thought the steps were done. Tasks before that. No, that's the creation. Then uploadation. Oh yeah, after upload I didn't see that. Yeah, this is it. Image wizard. After upload I just went directly for the next page. Okay, and there I am, there I am, then we distribute content and yeah, okay. Okay, then done. Oops. So and distribute content. That goes add. Okay, that's okay. Next cost, next cost. Those uh, we need to make sure that it's green, which means it's supported to the distribution point here. It's yellow right now. While this gets green, I'll just go back to the device collection. Does it show one? So right click, right click again, update membership. And one day it's going to discover that. What is wrong with that? Crash. So this is the captured OS and then Oh, okay. When I refresh the device client, then it appeared here. Alright, okay. Anyway. So software library back to is it green or not? Still yellow. Why is it? So open system installers and then go back and it has to be distributed there for me to add that to or uh, then it can show there in the wizard. So even that uh, task sequence wizard. So okay again, again. Refresh. Still uploading because it's five gigs. It's still putting it to the decision point because it's uh, five gigs of installation. And one day. Don't worry, Amir. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so it is. Mm, huge image. It's mucho, mucho, mucho huge. And direct uh, refresh. <sighs> so it's in progress. Content status. If I go there down. Uh, no, that's not it. That's this one. Yellow. That's inside the content status for the distribution status that did you get that huge image or not? So it's still or not, but uh, go back. View status. And I think it should be showing here in progress. Okay, showing in progress. And yeah, yellow. This is the Windows Enterprise actual image that is being deployed on the distribution point. So 
I refresh that and refresh that and I keep playing refresh 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 and retrieving information oh nice and shock A hey, would you stop it stop refreshing me okay detail will be well blocked and so it finishes the processing the messages yeah Hopefully we will do the troubleshooting in next class. <laughs> Maybe it just deploys with these steps perfectly. Maybe, but you said that we will do some troubleshooting, so you need some sort of test right. cases for us to do the troubleshooting. As well. Yeah, if you were guys are doing with me, uh, yeah, we would all be still, you know, deploying that. <laughs> if you had done a new installation, you know, that would have given us a new perspective. I mean, I have done that successfully. I'm done. Oh, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, with zero touch while I was sleeping yesterday, just <laughs> during my sleep. <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, Gregory, you were awake when you did that, right? Because Jerry did it successfully. Mm, maybe. Okay. So we will start at 6.30 on next Tuesday? Oh yes. 6.30. 6 6.30 to 9.30. So those who are missing it uh, can finally, you know, come to the class. Uh, Manzar, I sent you SMS, I sent you chat, you never answer now. By the way, uh, I... I was... So where I was, is my phone? Sorry. No worries, no worries. I forgot that you are recording everything. You have to delete the conversation, man. No, uh, yeah, yeah, we were not, not recording that, Hannah. The conversation is not recording, don't worry. Yeah, that's really, really important not to be fireante. Oh, fireante, okay. Yeah, but that's a good thing to get some good food out of and done. By, you know, saying, hey, we're going to delete that. No, it, was, it was paused at that time. Don't worry, it was paused at that time don't when you were discussing time. Yeah, don't say that to him. Okay. Okay. Don't say that to him. Amir, I don't understand. Whatever what you ask for, I can provide it for you. Don't worry, man. You don't oh, I'm so hungry right yeah. now. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, like, whatever what you can ask. Like, I don't know. Maximum, oh. you can ask for those uh, Tim Hortons. Uh, what? <laughs> God. Okay, so it's uh. Amber, you remember when you both asked him this and you ate them in the class? <laughs> yeah, they were too tasty. That was it, it, it for the lucky day. It was the only lucky day in that cohort. <laughs> Manzar, he bought us uh, one one. Uh, how many pieces inside? One bag. One each. Like Forty. One each. One each. One each. Yeah, oh. one piece, you remember that. <laughs> and though, oh, there it is. when he yeah. got something left, he kept them in his, in his desk. And on the way back, when we saw him, he was holding that bag. Yeah, I, I could not let go of Timbe. You think I'm going to leave them behind? Oh. One each, come on, buddy. The Linux, the Linux instructor, he brought to us three, three yeah, bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was just competing with me, and he wanted to be better than me so you know he wanted to look better so so he was so jealous of me you know oops me and my big mouth if he was we are recording it you know we are oh. recording it hey and we can delete that. this clip <laughs> social <laughs> media oh okay guys <laughs> so i'm unchecking this bit locker option don't uh, go for this uh, so we're not gonna bit lock our hard disk uh, if we check this option here, yes, it was uploaded there when I was while we were talking. So I went ahead with the steps. Even yeah, here it is unchecked. So bit locker thing we don't need now. I mean, I'm I'm okay. sure all the guys, none of them follow you because they want to see the results. <laughs> yeah. I know they got tired following you getting the mistake. <laughs> oh, that was not supposed to be more funny for me. But anyway, I laugh. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, you're right. But uh, <laughs> so, uh, 
So um, yeah, we were doing this. Um, yeah, so we're gonna join to the domain as well. I, I guys, I guys miss you. Six glasses came with the sim, with the sim stuff. You know, I'm just, I'm but, just. <laughs> yeah, in the end, you're gonna say you're just joking, but you missed a lot during these six classes. I just thought that uh, we should revisit this uh, before we go for the much complicated other stuff. I mean, come yeah. on. I wanna eat you now, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I, I miss I miss this six classes, but I came with the same lab. <laughs> yeah. And you know, to to get it better, I mean the to put the spices on that, uh, there will be an error as well on this one. So <laughs> you need to daily so whenever, yeah, we need whenever to you will that. join it, you will find in the same place. Yeah, so whenever Hamdan comes, we're gonna start the same lab over and over again. Nice. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> nice, really nice. Amir, don't worry. So next time. Oh, of course, you cannot be on this deployment. <laughs> yeah, uh, next time I'm gonna try to do five or six times this until I get it straight. I'm gonna get that video and upload it on YouTube. And I'm gonna say, hey, in the class, look at the class. Okay, it, it's just good here. Uh, so I'm check the capture, capture. Uh, but yeah, so I really needed to uh, because now Rolando he tried that, uh, Gregory tried it and it was successful. I tried it while I was not recording; it was successful, and I was like, ah, shoot! Now no proof now. Okay, <laughs> so everyone else had it, so we had to revisit that. But you uh, know, in production environment, we cannot <laughs> go through the hit and drag stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we need perfect working. Yeah, so for production environment, yeah, I, I was just really gone with that error. Uh, right now, we were trying to learn, so this is different environment. Yeah, I'm just thinking, looking for words here. Okay, yeah, so uh, installation applications, we're gonna not deploy that applications again. Uh, next, and we're really near that. I hope the error does not come in first five minutes. Otherwise, uh, I will have to then. Uh, dedicate the next Thursday as well for this until we get it straight. All the next classes are on this subject. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so uh, deployment uh, for Win7 is there. Let us go to the deployment and uh, you know what? Uh, I should keep the deployment uh, when everyone is gone and so dead tired of this. Then I should put the, you know, deployment, start the deployment so I will see the error and nobody will see me and you know, <laughs> say, hey, not again. Anyway. So we need to distribute content now. Star sequence, star sequence collection. Oh, this is done. Oh, this is not done. Okay, we need to deploy it on the device collection. So deploy. So we're not distributing content, we're deploying it directly and this is, oh, uh, the guy wanted it available. We can put it as required as well. Uh, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, the last step is deploy. Oh, so, okay, and this is the machine where it's showing one. Back post, available, only media and pixie. Back post, and uh, you know what? Here, if you schedule that, Don't mm. schedule it. Why are scheduling? No, 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 there was another option here. New was enabling that would say yes, it is possible. Oh, when we put required, okay. Required, only media and pixie. Next, yeah, there you go. Immediately assign as soon as possible. So the last time we were doing available, and uh, so uh, Mansur, you you have done available, right? So this is a little different here. Yes. Uh, you can yes. remove okay. the deployment. So and then you can just the last step you can just change according to instead of available put the required media access. Then this will come and it will say as soon as possible. Um, well, it's recording, so like uh, show task sequence progress allow users to run the program independently of assignments software solution when the select schedule task. Okay, uh, just need to confirm that with the... Uh, 
Oh yeah, he did not put that. We did follow him last time. Software installation and if required, system will start. Go for that. Next. Next. Download content locally when needed by running. So um, um, already, uh, if if it goes wrong, uh, I'm, I'm gonna troubleshoot that and send you uh, do do the on the video. I'm gonna troubleshoot that. I wish it was not Ramadan, uh, otherwise, uh, you know, I could just start all instead all night doing that. But you know, somebody need to go somewhere to during nights. Um, close Ramadan or Ramadan? Yeah, Ramadan. What did I say? Okay, oh, I, I think Ramadan. Oh. Okay, so um, <laughs> here's the uh, truth of moment or the moment of truth. Uh, I'm just gonna shut down there anybody, and uh, I'm gonna. Anybody ask me anything? Anybody? <laughs> just. <laughs> so you would not even listening. God. Okay. Come so, on, but ate, ate something. I have to cook. Something you have to what? You were cutting right now. Okay. Ha <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding. No, no worries. Okay. So, okay, it's starting. Six, five. Four. Before the error. Okay, I'm not even watching this. So I'm gonna cover my eyes like this, and from the holes of those, you know, fingers, I'm gonna watch like this. And uh, I think it's uh, going fine right now. Okay, I'm peeking right now. Oh, okay. So it's gonna ask you to place the password. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how do you know that? Yeah, Gregory is sleeping. Hey, Gregory, are you sleeping? Your I'm best here. friend. Your best friend is asking this. I'm yeah. here. Your best friend from Pan Am is asking. So Gregory is saying, saying, oh, you must have heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's missing you. Ronaldinho, you can play football there. You know that? <laughs> Say them that you are Ronaldinho. Roland, Rolandino. Hey, he's in the best Pan Am area, the swimming pool, right? Okay, I didn't mean anything else than that. Come on, come, <laughs> on, come on. Now next, okay. Oh, this is new. This is new. No, this, there is a time in error. Don't worry. Not now. Uh, it will take some time to get the error. No. It, last time the error came to Mantra and me when I was about to close the video and tell Man, ask Mantra, hey, okay, it's done. That is it. Blah, blah, blah. And the error came. Perfect timing. Now the perfect timing. Just wait. And we yeah. were very we happy can... about that. No. It's almost there. Two minutes, 40 seconds. The, the mistake in the video. The error. Two, in 2 minutes and 40 seconds? Yes sir, 2 minutes 40 seconds. The error will come? <laughs> yes sir, 1 minute is gone. Why 2 minutes and 40 seconds? Why not 3 minutes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sometimes, no, last time it gave us, uh, if we are lucky, it, it, it gave us after 20, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, there. So, that's, we were that that's, far. That's the 60 classes I missed. <laughs> <laughs> no, in those classes you missed a lot of settings, you missed endpoint protection, you missed uh, uh, Office 2013. Uh, you missed uh, the other two or three things that I'm forgetting now. Uh, so, you miss a lot, man. And you didn't even see the videos. Come on, follow the videos. Oh, a newly built place just for Pan Am. Lots of beautiful swimmers with, okay, yeah, censored word, the next one. Anyway, so, ha, two, two minutes and 40 seconds are gone. So, what's your next set of minutes? I'm done. 2 minutes and 40 light seconds actually it was light seconds wow from light years it's light seconds yeah it would have passed like like this it's SCCM like we count here in SCCM light time. in light years actually <laughs> so it's uh, SCCM time 
Ethereum time zone. Where? Okay, so guys, Gregory, you should be assigned there. So there's a message that I'm relaying, and every message is fifty cents per message. Uh, no, one dollar per message. I cannot see that messages. Man, uh, Ethel, uh, the uh, the thing is that Ro uh, Rolando does not know how to. You know, Rolando, do you see that send to <laughs> icon? If you do if you click that, there is Gregory name there as well. But you can click everyone there, so everyone can enjoy that. You know. <laughs> yeah, everyone. The, yeah, yeah, okay. Rolando. <laughs> no, <laughs> everyone. Now the Boy, I'm is, enjoying. Whoa, whoa. No, he's saying now Why? that ha 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 because Gregory is not answering my message and he's not able to answer and I can make fun so that's so much fun. Okay. <laughs> so, I think I should include your video in today's video, today's class video. Actually. Uh, why? Because you are doing so much fun today. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Muhammad so, Hamdan. Why voice would not be enough without facial expression actually. Oh, my facial expressions are much more funnier today. Not I funnier, but... Go on without Muhammad Hamdan, please. I don't need to interrupt myself every five seconds and come here to come to say something. <laughs> so, um, oh. What are my facial expressions? Uh, am I like disappointed kind of thing or am I really happy or... Uh, happy, 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 happy. Like this? Oh, I don't want to show my teeth. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah. So, hey, Rolando, uh, we're missing any nice comment for Gregory. Come on. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh man, so uh, you know Hamdan is waiting to scream, ha ha, see I told you, and um, yeah, uh -huh. oh come on, my recording is going, yeah, see Gregory to everyone. I made a mistake, it's gonna take 12 seconds, 42 minutes, uh, 12 minutes, huh? 42 seconds. Okay, 12 minutes and 42 seconds. If that record is break broken, you need to, you know, have, you need to do something like, you know, you have to be accountable for that, that you lost that. Uh, mucho, you mucho. Can, yeah, you can come on the cam and you can show us 50 push-ups. So that's going to be fun. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> so, okay, uh, okay, the expression is like, oh, please, 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 don't do anything, please, please, make it happen. Be a nice SCCM server, be my SCCM friend server, or whatever. Ronaldo, how are you? See, I still am an interpreter here. <laughs> Ronaldo did not see the chat yet. So, Ronaldo, you need to see the chat and uh, <laughs> we are looking at the 31st percent. Oh, come on. Ronaldo is so quiet now. What is wrong with you, Rolando? <laughs> oh man, this means that really Rolando was enjoying while there was some, you know, privacy. <laughs> now he has to face Gregory up front, you know, in front of everyone. You need to face him. Meanwhile, we can again start the discussion of link submission from it. Oh yeah. Hey, that's a very good option. You know why? Because I'm going to uh, put that screen on the second screen. And even if there's an error, I'm just going to say, hey, it's, it's going on. Uh, you know, it's going on. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> okay. Now, I know you you guys would want to see that before leaving. 
So yes, um, what uh, uh, we were talking about is oh well, yeah, well, what we're talking about is uh, that uh, we can install link.exe by let me just peek back because uh, you know this is uh, still oh hey we, I can make a small screen where I can or yeah just you know just trust me I'm gonna show you uh, fingers crossed but yeah. Crisscross. So, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, what cross? I was, uh, King's cross. Yeah. Hey, don't say King's cross. Last time you said it, there was an error right away then and there because of King's cross. So yeah. People was... are waiting for for the error. <laughs> God, why can't everyone believe that uh, there cannot be there, there may be a very nice or quiet installation which will just be successful. Oh, thank God! It's still forty-one percent. So, uh, uh, Mansar, do you remember what percentage you got that error? <laughs> I got it after around like eighty percent, I guess. Ah, shoot! Okay. So, yeah, we can still wait because uh, if you got it at eighty percent, yeah, I got it also with when it was told. You know, majority of it was finished. And that was like uh, we need to hit something. Okay, so we were talking about an exe file uh, being deployed uh, over the network. I want to do that now, uh, but I don't want to touch any of the components of SCCM. So our very very sensitive installation do not get uh, you know uh, disturbed. Uh, so on the detection rule window, choose setting type file system. So what we're doing is we're just going to define that hey SCCM, this is an exe application. So the switch that the vendor gave us for this application is slash silent. So Mr. SCCM, you could just intelligently detect that and understand what the switch are and the commands are all the codes in the in the inside that command that would uh, you know help uh, install it silently in the background uh, on that computer. Uh, so uh, for XZ, we just uh, have to follow all these, uh, you know, lines because this is the XZ file. Uh, actual XZ file is not uh, link.exe, the communicator.exe. Uh, that's why we're gonna give the path here as well, uh, which is the Microsoft link. We have to exact type that path, so it could detect. So what we're telling uh, SCCM that if you detect on this path, this folder then either overwrite the, uh, it with the newer link or uninstall that and then install that and if you find that communicator.exe is there then in this path then of course uh, we can tell the detection rule what the action should be taken uh, for this older version of so it's on 54 percent right now uh, the deployment uh, so there's up-to-date news uh, being delivered as well um, Okay, so uh, the file system setting must exist on the target system to indicate presence of the application. So if this stuff is wrong, it's not going to detect that, right? Uh, so uh, now what we do is, so if, so this was easier one, right? Uh, I'm going to later, uh, in next class, I'm going to show you how to create a package which will be uh, of an application which does not have an MSI package and it's not even Microsoft application, WinRAR or any other application, right? So it's going to be more, much more trickier and complicated and you know what, uh, for package, for packaging, yeah? Oh, for packaging, uh, there were two jobs that I missed uh, where uh, they were asking an SCCM packager. I told you that before a lot. So when we, next time we're going to do the packaging, we're going to understand why <laughs> uh, they were looking for just a packager. So we're going to go through those, all those complicated steps. Uh, I'm going to send you the, some software to, to, be, to install uh, before that and then we're going to do that, right? So uh, install for system, that, this is just a common setting uh, after we have defined the actual uh, settings for the link.exe which are not very complicated uh, because it's still a Microsoft product. It's on 62% right now, the BIM installation. Um, so whether or not a user is logged on, um, in, so yeah, just install that whether or not user are logged on. 
and then we go for installation requirements and uh, no we don't need an application to be deployed software dependencies we don't need to mention that and that's it so what we did was we just used a switch of that exe file and told SCCM hey this is a switch so please uh, abide by the rules of that vendor's application in, in this case it's Microsoft so other than that okay now it's distributing the content of link 2010 nothing complicated here uh, we should try with the easiest exe file applications and then we go we, we will go for the com complicated ones uh, in fact yeah I should add it to the next class so first we install link which will be easy installation should be then we're gonna go for the more complicated ones uh, so we could have one topic with different aspects uh, open uh, so link 2010 distribute content here oh, 0825 so distribute content to distribution point and then go for yeah it's gonna take this path there and collection is being deployed to all computers and then install and available uh, of course the typical installations options that we were we had okay then it's supposed to be available in software center nothing unusual and it, that's how it should look like right so okay so latest update from that ground uh, latest update is that uh, it's still installing oh yeah uh, let me show you yeah 72% Oh no, it's very close to close Why do you think, oh no, you don't want it to be installed successfully? You just heard oh, my no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it's very close to close yeah. the process. And, and it's going to be hurting the when if it gives an error now. <laughs> okay. So, no, the Manzur, you're right that uh, in production environment, of course, we cannot afford this kind of uncertainty. And you know, um, so we need to really I, want, I wanted to tell something else. Like in production environment, we cannot give them videos that it was working. Even if it was working in the test environment, no, we have we have used this term a lot uh, when you know something didn't work in the production. Hey, boss, it was working just now. It was working in the test environment. It was so. It was like, oh, okay, uh, I'll give you some more time. So we gain a little more time than. You know. The last joke from Microsoft, there is no SCCM in the production environment. <laughs> you know, the SCCM guys, they were really insulted uh, one year, two years back uh, in our environment. So, uh, they were deploying some updates and uh, it, they screwed up our exchange environment. So, whoa. I just, got a, I just got a job from USA today for SCCM and they are paying 95k plus perks for an SCCM administrator. Whoa. And just for deploying the operating system and migrating yeah. migration from 2007 to 2012. Oh, serious? Yeah. Huh? Should I forward it to you? Yeah. You yeah. moving? You moving to years? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, Canada is much better. Uh, but, you know, whatever, whoever pays more. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, no, uh, what I was asking is, uh, you're saying from migration from 2007 to 2012, what? At the same. Oh, okay. Then deployment of OS and so oh. many things like you know what? Nothing is typically here. This is 95 per hour job. This is 95 and, uh, K per year. Oh, 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 per year. Okay. Oh. Still good. Still it is good. USB. Uh, wow. You know what? Uh, we can do that too. If if you know, if you need to do some complicated labs, I need four guys doing the same thing with me, and I need their team viewer <laughs> open in front of me. So uh, really, you are saying we can do the migration from 2007 to Yeah, we can do that. Uh, but I need to create a scenario, but we will do that if four guys are with me, with ready with their infrastructure. I'm, I'm ready. not doing it alone. Wow. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
So yeah, I need four confirmations, right? So, so what's going on with you? What's going on with you? What's going on? बारिश हो रही है नहीं पप्पा? नहीं बारिश हो रही है। Oh okay. So anyway, so okay guys, Muhammad Amdan, please try not to look at this screen now. It's not you, man. Don't try to look. I mean, there is that concept of al ain. I mean, like uh, when you see something and it goes wrong or something. So now be ready for the error. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Huh? Be ready for the error. Just seven percent left. Oh come on, Manzar. <laughs> Guys, be positive. For God's sake, be positive. The error number eight double zero seven three two or Mucho something else. I need that error. I have read 97% of the errors come to 97% uh. <laughs> Hey, that's even the worst one. <laughs> hey, Pan Am guy's gone. Come on. Uh, Gregory, you you just, you know, whoosh him away or what? <laughs> hey, you know what? Just for historical purposes, I'm just gonna take screenshot of this. Now, 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 now. Oh, man. This is a milestone screenshot. Uh, so I'm just gonna error, error, error. Come on! Wow, this is like ah. <laughs> now it's about to come. Yeah. Oh shit! Man, come you on, guys... come on, error, come on! What? Actually, it's ninety ninety percent to the error, not to the completion. <laughs> and. I thought you guys were, hey, Pan Am is back, woohoo! Okay. <laughs> so, Gregory, I think you called him, hey, where are you? My best friend, my childhood friend. I miss you so much, Pan Am. Oh, no, Rolando. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Rolando? Pan Am Games will, will be over, and after that, we all we will continue to call you Panam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good one. <laughs> or Panam guy. Panam guy. You were Panaming at that time. So, Panam guy. Why did you name yourself Panam, man? I didn't get that, Orlando. <laughs> Oh, uh, some audio problems, I guess. Okay, uh, Alain should not be... chatting again? <coughs> Sorry? He's chatting again? Chatting? Oh. Yeah. No? Oh, yeah. Rolando, you're supposed to just talk to me, remember? So, let me know what you're talking to, saying to, about to say to Gregory. So, I could relay that. Applying image one from cap seven to volume C. Oh, you know what? I'll just take a screenshot of that, so at least, you know, I, I'll frame it and put it on the wall. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so we, ha we still have time for error. Oh man, stop <laughs> saying that. Be positive, you should have that blood group. Everyone should have B positive blood group. AB positive, you know. AB. I don't know what that means even. It's a what blood group. Mean? You can search it on the internet. It's a blood group. Really? I have AB positive. Yeah, seriously. You actually have AB positive. Oh. <laughs> I can give blood to B, B positive. I can give blood to A positive. Oh, wow. Good. It's AB positive. Always B positive. <laughs> <coughs> Today you're being negative, but yeah. <laughs> he's negative from your side, but from but from your side he's positive. <laughs> that error will come. Okay, we got a message, Gregory, and congratulations, you got your message from your childhood best friend, you know. Okay. Gregory, go to <laughs> okay. CIBC Aquatic and the message is Gregory, go to CIBC Aquatic. <clears throat> I will give you a ticket free. And even you can enter inside the at least room. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm still very, very positive actually. I'm waiting for the troubleshooting, so I'm very positive about the error. Guys, about the error. Oh, stop saying that, guys. Manzar, I'm supporting you, buddy. You are the right. Yes, I'm with you. 
where do I hit my head now? <laughs> and you're gonna hear this in the mic. There is no need to hit your head, it's already hit it from the child bone, no don't worry. <laughs> okay. What happened to my head, man? You never know about that, but like others feel that. Wow, it was invisible in the mirror always, right? So, it's not invisible, we, we feel it, we feel it, something wrong happened with you. Oh, like you feel it. Hey, what kind of feeling is that to see each other's head? Like, like the same thing when your student said, you're supposed to run a comedy show. Like, it, it means something. I should not have told you that. <sighs> I sh and I, I took it as a compliment and I thought, hey, it was not a compliment. So then I, that by that time, you know, it was the middle of the class. And I came up with so many new jokes now. So when a student enters in the class from the washroom during the class, I say, hey, okay, now we are finishing uh, the end. Um, it's the end of the lab and thank you everyone. So you, you just, what is new? Wah! Then we die. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So that's a new joke. Yeah. So that's why it's like stand up comedies. Okay, no problem. Thank you for coming. And uh, nothing. And uh, uh, thank you for uh, attending. And please carry on with your laughs. Okay. Oh, I didn't have Thank you. Well, welcome. And. Please deploy all yes in your environment. Today okay. I am at home, so I can stay until 10 or 11 p.m. I have no what? idea. Serious? Man, um, okay. man. So, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I need to <laughs> go. Home. It's um, about to finish. It's about to finish. Oh, that's from cohort six. Elbows. I'm troubleshooting their exchange class now. By the way, yeah, I, I why always you are doing forgot that? to ask, Carmen. Hmm? Uh, I always forgot to ask you. Yeah. So, we, we, what cohort is better? Our or this six? Hmm. Actually, your cohort is better in, in, in a way of exams. Very good. Uh, in fact, the lab also very good. So, but, I mean, <laughs> what the... Okay. But, um... Grisha, don't trust him. He's saying that to everybody. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I, I would tell that uh, <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Amir, oh. Amir, can I ask you for a favor? Please, please. Uh -oh. Yeah, sure. Send me those uh, exchange uh, screenshots, the, the errors. Ex oh, the cohort 6, which are, they're asking? That yeah, it's exchange. Any exchange errors. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, well. Please, please. Really? Serious? Good, good, that's good. Because the more you troubleshoot, the more, you know, you get the knowledge. I just searching for anything to stop me in exchange, but I'm already expert. Send me, please, anything. Oh, <laughs> that's a big statement. I also, I also heard you are, like, doing some extra lab with cohort things, which you didn't perform with us. Uh, yeah, oh, you're doing yeah. something extra. But when I was telling them that, I knew that, oh, shoot. Now somebody knows that too. So <laughs> you are putting videos, so I know that. Yeah, so I can share the videos with the cohort five, and uh, the cohort four. I didn't do some of the things. Uh, every cohort there's some improvement. Yeah, yeah. So I can put those videos to the previous cohorts as well. Especially no, those, those hyper -V, hyper -V videos. They are important. Oh yeah. So there was. Uh, now we're doing that. Uh, you know, migration of hyper -V, uh, machines as well. So I'm gonna send that. Okay, so that's a good reminder. I'm gonna send that video to cohort five, as if somebody's gonna do that. Oh yeah, there will be people doing that. But yeah, uh, no seriously, I was saying about the cohort uh, five exam speed was good. Cohort six, only one guy has passed till now, and this is the tenth class, and all others are just looking at me. Uh, so yeah. applying drivers. So he's doing something. It's seen like. Oh no! Oh, nice deploying the clients. This is a software uh, deployment. I think site. I got error here after 88 percent. Yeah, no, on this is no, no, You are done. You are done. I'm no errors anymore. <sighs> hey, Mohammed Hamdan is finally positive. Be positive. Because so, being negative, it doesn't give any errors. Maybe now he can have. <laughs> oh shoot! I didn't know you were still negative.
The hey. only difference was that option, like you selected a different option in deploying the image required instead of available. So, so okay. when do we get to initializing system shutdown? Error, 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 so, uh, well, we can see, see after the restart what happens, but it should restart as a machine. This you know. a new error, actually, after the restart. New error, man, first reach here now. <clears throat> I So this is your challenge, you guys. Everyone has to reach there and show me the screenshot of the percentage. So that's going to be challenge now. This this time we are going is going to get a new error after restarting actually. <laughs> you're A B negative, you're not A B positive. Hey, don't you see the Windows restart now? The deployment is mucho done. So we can safely scream here saying it's done yee <clears throat> So now all you need to do is oh uh, I'm not I ain't touching this lab again, buddy. Yes, from the beginning. If I was there you would never never had any errors. <laughs> no, last last time you were there, that's why there were so many errors. <laughs> so I mean like you know, Whoa! What was that? <laughs> so uh it, uh, today, uh, this lab is successful, right? Is another lab that is successful, another. So, can you, can you explain that from the scratch right now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is You're third lab actually. This is third that successful is lab. Successful. SCCM labs, uh, if you go up uh, to the, you know, and uh, Google it, SCCM labs in different academies, Everyone is crying about SCCM is a product that is not easy to handle. Now, if you practice again and again this lab, we will be able to handle that because uh, you know we Actually, my, are a my boss first. told me SCCM is not a product for today. It's for tomorrow, maybe day after tomorrow. So, hey, we are using with eighty six thousand machines. SCCM is the only way we are deploying them. And SCCM is the only way we are deploying uh, software updates, software updates to very, very critical machines that we cannot afford to get, take down at all. SCCM is the only source we are using there. And in all the huge environments, you will only see SCCM, that's why SCCM experts are really required. I'm willing to do all the complicated work if four people are doing the lab with me. And we are ready, I'm ready actually. Be ready I'm and sure Muhammad and Gregory is also ready. Uh, pa uh, no, uh, Rolando is also uh, going, doing well. So if we do it together, we can compare our results and we will have all kinds of... If we, I have a different error, you have a different error, we are gaining knowledge on all the errors, right? Uh, guys, just some, some explanation. All of the discussion now to cover, to cover the errors. Everything is said. I'm, <laughs> I'm in, we still need troubleshoot that error. Ah, I'm gonna... Well, uh, you know what, if this error still does come, although this is a success in solution, if this error is come and has come to three people, yes, you're right. So first, I need to show you the successful in solution now. In next classes, we can troubleshoot that error. Uh, in next class, we will be doing packaging actually, uh, but it's uh, gonna end at finish. So we can, hey, how about we call everyone who were missing this? And we do this, uh, troubleshoot this error with everyone on Tuesday where we're starting at 6.30 when, you know, more people can join. And we have to convince them that it's I am in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. All right. So, yeah, uh, Rolando is saying that how about application catalog? We still need to make, fix that too. So, this is one of our next projects as well. <laughs> 
uh, application catalog is still not showing no so hey uh, Rolando this was not funny but you're still giving it to me so to relate to everyone oh yes oh you use everyone right <coughs> I mean okay so it's given to everyone yeah uh, so yes uh, we need to uh, application catalog and uh, we need to work on new packaging when I start doing the new packaging you will be like you know hitting your head it is complicated to package a non Microsoft product is the main expert one of the main expertise that are required now in the market uh, do you package so when we talk about package then we will know that every software is different every software has its we have to dig down and then we have to package that so we, if we package three or four types of software we're gonna have a better command on that packaging and yeah the free tickets also for the <laughs> swimming as well you know we deserve it today. All all of us deserve it today. Come on, uh, it was a tenth uh, percentage going on, and uh, there were so many AB negative comments coming. So, <laughs> uh, guys, uh, the machine is ready, and uh, so are we to to go to you know our uh, food table. <clears throat> okay, so the machine is starting, and uh, the deployment is over. I can start this deployment on a new machine. And I will leave it. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna quickly create a new machine because this is a golden image. This means this image is supposed to work for every machine. So this will be a test for next machine, uh, which I will just do it for you know just for the sake of confirmation. Uh, so cap two, cap two. M G. Okay, cap two. Cap two, and go for D drive next next. Customize, you know, it will be a big shame, or it will be. I'll be surprised if the second machine gets an error and first machine did not form the same image. But I'm so uh, it should not get any error. The second machine, right? But it, it's not a part of devices. Like you know, will add it now, or can we test the other option, which like anonymous one? That was for troubleshooting. Oh, the machine did not get it. Uh, oh, uh, because he, his MAC address is not. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Now is the time we can. Your side. Hey, you're right on top of it, man. Who's so right? Uh, that was in distribution. So yeah. That's just one last final step. That if we put this allow clients to connect on anonymous stage and does it get that oh uh, and uh, can it refresh that okay and you do that on the new machine otherwise I'll have to be able to go to that putting to next device no maybe yeah I have to add that MAC address as well so for the video I'm just gonna add it later Okay, so what is the status of that machine, machine which you just to send to? It is still a blank system setting, so... It was a 5 gig image, right? So, it had the uh, endpoint protection, it had the software updates, so... Hey, software updates were not done on the... were not... did not reach the clients as well, right? So we have so many projects to fix. Okay, so yeah... Uh, uh, yeah, I need to add the MAC address and start this. So, uh, for my sake, I'm gonna actually do two or three or four machines just to make sure that golden image always works when it is first insertion good. Four, five insertion should be good as well. So later, I'm gonna just for and add. I'll add to the video. I'll pause the video and then I'll add four, five machines. They are all simultaneously getting installed now. Uh, just to add to the video, so we will see a success story. Good, good luck, guys. OSD. I'm having a break for 30 minutes. Good luck. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. See you. Uh, so it, class is over. So um, okay, sir. Take your rest and relax. This is too much. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you, Rolando, and thank you, Omadamdan. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you, Mansur. So we can call it a day, right? Yes. At least you had fun, guys. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. What do you mean? We had a success lab. What do you mean? At least we have. Okay, yeah. So, you were saying Greg? Thank you, Amir. Welcome.
So Manzar, uh, we uh, we continue the video. I can continue the video because still we didn't see the desktop, right? Like uh, okay, didn't we didn't install. Hmm? I have no issue. I have so, no issue. Yes, we can do that. Like uh, way, yeah. Amir, um, you you recording by yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm also recording, and I'm not pausing that until it reaches the desktop. So yeah, I think uh, this um, your recordings uh, are better than the decisions. It's, it's, uh, everything is so small. Um, although we still have a point, right? Yeah, we get point, but <laughs> it is very busy. <laughs> What's going on there? Uh, okay. Uh, no, maybe there is some resolution we can work on. Uh, to get the WebEx, but uh, yeah, maybe, we're, maybe, we're gonna work yeah. on the resolution as well. And uh, I can just put the video that one as well, or uh, you know, just for extra reference. But it's the same thing, right? Yeah. So cap three. I'm just gonna keep creating machines so I could test that. <laughs> so okay, guys. Um, uh, I'll put the desktop view. Uh, I'll put uh, keep the video on until the desktop view. It's shown for that machine and you can see it in the video then and we can now go and have lunch okay bye bye Rolando uh, what's that it's still applying setup is applying system settings okay so I'm gonna just keep it on the video and uh, start. so anyway yeah I'm gonna go it's okay um, oh Manzar uh, sorry, I'm mean, yeah, here. Uh, Manzar, yes, yes, few minutes. Yes, I have. I mean, I you can call you. me. You can call me. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, like uh, this is the final one. Started so checking video performance. Yes, that's why I'm recording it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see the desktop because you know what? It's the, it's supposed to join the domain as well. Uh, like it is oh, okay it's there oh are you sure no I, I put that option there to join the domain okay so it should be domain joined it's uh, two and a half I think it's video. already logged into the domain as well yeah it, well, it, so I will just make sure it, it did it you know it did join the active directory pretty easy oh whoa whoa, 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 whoa. Huh? what get yeah, us some other steps as well so it's still chances are there for us. Ah shoot man! <laughs> oh man, I gotta go now. <laughs> <laughs> Set up windows and confusion manager. What the heck is this? Downloading installation files. What? Oh it's good that I did not start the second and third. So I'll let it finish then I'll start three simultaneous downloads. That's gonna really beat up my machine but I will give the confidence that okay once success then okay configuration manager client agent is being installed now. Okay so Windows installed. Drivers are done. Video is checked. Now SCCM client so it should show yes this one. Maybe an endpoint on after that. As well. Oh shoot, seriously? Yeah, maybe. Uh, endpoints? Endpoint was part of... So it's not going to be... It's not going to install separately. If we had put MS Office there in the application during the deployment uh, phase, so MS Office would have been installed by, uh, right now. It would take that much time. So next but time why, you should... Why yeah. installing configuration manager client agent? Because we separately, separately defined it, yeah, we separately defined it there during the installation. It asked that it's actually, you know, uh, compulsory to define that. But next time we're gonna uh, deploy MS Office as well separately. Then after this, MS Office will be installing. Does that gonna be a very long installation? But then we're gonna have experience on deploying application after OS separately.
uh, client installation is done. So after that, I, I should have added the applications as well, Google Chrome and, uh, you know, separate. Initializing SCCM clients, okay. What is it doing now? No idea. It's like a virtual machine environment, I guess. Oh, did I start this? Let me shut down everything. Okay! Ooh. Yeah! Oh, there's the actual login. Uh oh. Domain. To the domain. No. No, but you can you can try switch user. I logged in and this is the background screen for that. This like domain is there. Right. No, but what I just want check to domain, do check domain, check domain status. Yeah. Nope. No, it's not the part of the. Hey. So cool. that's what it was there as well in the golden image. Okay, we need to. But it should be part of the domain. I don't know why it's not there, but it should be. Yeah. No, it uh, it's in the task sequence here. When you edit that, it's it's defined here. Apply network settings. Uh, Where is the domain then? Yeah, join domain. But you did not. So SCM domain dot local. Yeah, that was the domain name, administrator account, Windows will configure network opportunities, DHCP by default adopt, that's just a special one. It was supposed to join, but it is not, so we need to troubleshoot that. Was it enabled? This will just continue on error. Nothing. Hey, you can try this continue error as well. At least it's easier. <laughs> continue on error. Okay, so yeah, I did not join the domain. We need to troubleshoot that. Other than that, the whole installation is successful. Uh, and next time uh, we're gonna deploy the applications as well and I'm gonna try this golden image with three more deployments okay, okay guys whoa okay bye bye so yeah. let's stop that now I'm gonna stop that installation now or pause I'm pausing it okay okay see you guys